So today's stage in the Giro was shortened to like 70k and the question is, why did nothing happen? Obviously the break was very exciting, I was sad that Pino didn't win, but I know Rubio is um, a legend, so not too bad, but yeah, literally nothing happened. Hugh Carthy attacked, gained 6 seconds, that was it. So in theory it should have been really hard, obviously I'm not going to get politics of whether they should have cancelled the stage or not, or moved the stage, it seems in hindsight probably not, uh, probably was a stupid idea to have it 70k, but anyway. Um, so the question is why? Now we're going to go through Sepkus's day. So he finished with basically all the GC favourites. Um, and he's on an accurate power meter. 61 kilos. It's always hard to say if he is. But anyway, assuming he is, we'll, we'll go to have a look. So the first day, the first climb straight out of the block, 49 minutes at 341, 5.6. So to be fair, like not actually mega hard. Um, but there were some really hard sections. So there was like um, peak 20 minute. Uh, wait, what? No, sorry. There was like a 12 minute section around here where it was mega, mega hard. Um, 6.2 for 12. Like it was pretty tough um, from the off. Um, and I think what that goes to show is that actually like, you know, if it continued, it wouldn't have been very hard. Um, and if we look at Derek G's file, you, you'll see, obviously he got in the break, 5.7 for 47 minutes. Um, the time they lost is actually pretty crazy. Uh, they lost like two minutes, which turns it from se nearly 1700 VAM to 1600 VAM. A lot easier for everyone and then suddenly you know you're kind of talking about like the last bit of this climb in the gc group was ridden very very easily right so this last bit was written at 5.4 for 24 minutes so like very chill we then had one of the longest descents uh in the giro really uh 26 minutes very relaxed everyone took it super slow um again if we look at Derek g's file um you'll see it was significantly quicker uh yeah like uh, actually, it can't be exactly the same. They didn't go five minutes quicker, but um, anyway, like it was basically a lot slower. Um, if we look at La Suma's descent, you'll see 12.04, 11.19, so 40 seconds. So again, they had a long time to rest. Then we get to the valley. Um, again, not very hard. So what you're coming to the conclusion is not many of the favorite GC guys will think that anyone's tired. So they probably don't think they can make massive gaps. Like 240 normalized, again, not too hard. Um, and then Kranz Montana was ridden at 5.8 for half an hour, which is actually like this. You know, it's like it's pretty rough. But it's not it's not mega mega hard. Um, and I think what it goes to show is it 5.8 in the wheels, probably six on the front. You gotta be on a real good day to attack off that. And you probably just think everyone can follow me because it's been so fresh. It's not like if you attack, there's gonna be gaps straight away. So if you wanna actually make a move, you really gotta get a big gap. And that's just not going to happen. Um, you can see, again, the first 20 minutes is ridden easier. The last bit when they were chasing Hugh Carthy, 6.2. Like, again, peak 20-minute power was um, towards the end of the stage, getting close to 6 watts per kilo. Um, so, again, it does go, like, it was hard. I just think the combination of, like, the, the first climb being very far away. Like, if you if from the top to the finish, it was almost an hour of racing. That's a long time. Like, it's really not enough on a short stage to make it worth it, to kind of go all in. And so no one made the top part of this. And then you get onto this one, it's a pretty quick climb, 7%. And then, you know, it was ridden pretty hard on the front, I assume. It's kind of just like no one does anything. So that's kind of the reason why. I'd also say that the finish where traditionally you'd expect attacks, um, like the last two kilometers is like 5%, three kilometers, 5%. So again, it's, it's not a place you really want to attack. So in conclusion, it was just a lot of contributing factors um, that made it not great. Um, Derek G's file, very, very strong. He did 460 watts for 20 minutes the other day. It's pretty mega. Um, today, not as many watts for the 20 minutes, but again, like riding at 440 uh, for 47 minutes is ridiculous. And I think I want to make a video on him because I think people should sign him like Ineos, UAE, Bahrain, Yumbo, one of them should sign him because he's unbelievably strong. Um, he's so strong on the flat, uh, he's so strong on the climbs, like it's a no-brainer. Um, but anyway, I hope this kind of explains why there was no no major attacking, um, combination of reasons, but all in all, a pretty disappointing stage.